either of these so hopefully you guys can hear me i am live on tiktok and youtube because look at me i'm all techy let's see if anybody's out there to ask some questions and if you don't know me i am amber um and i am a psychic medium uh, an empath a healer and a medical intuitive and an animal communicator, and I had an NDE, I don't know how long ago, almost two years ago, when I had a massive stroke and went to the other side. So that's me. Welcome. I am making like a fall soup, but my brain, damaged brain, put the wrong spice in it, so I think it might taste gross, but it's like a huge pot, like this big. So we're going to have to eat it anyway. <laughs> Oh, there's a couple of people on TikTok and one on YouTube. Look at me. Yo. So, yeah, I like to come on here and, I don't know, just spread a little bit of joy. I, my guides tend to, um, like, give me encouragement or ideas while I'm in the shower. I don't know why. It's just water, I guess. Um, and today they wanted me to do like a reel, and I didn't do it, <laughs> explaining that we're never alone, that no matter what, they are with us, loving us from the other side, and they're really stuck on right now that like, God is not this, you know, old white guy judging you on the other side about your decisions or life or the things you've done or not done, um, but God is energy, a very loving energy that doesn't have the capability, nor would it want to judge. So I just thought that would be nice for people to hear. What do you say about the aliens right now? I think humanity has known about aliens or, you know, people from the future for a long time. It's just kept under wraps. Because People, I don't know if you know, tend to go a little cray-cray when we don't feel like we are in control. Um, and so, yeah, there's we're prone to mass panic and mob mentality, and sometimes less is more. <laughs> because, yeah, we can be a little, um, a, a little nutty. <laughs> that sounds mean, right? My puppy's moving around. So you guys are so quiet. I guess it is the middle of the day, isn't it? Um, TikTok should, you guys should share so that more people come and ask questions. I don't know if you can share on YouTube. I don't know anything. This is like my second YouTube live. I did one yesterday. Um, and I don't know how it works. I don't know. I think you just have to subscribe to, I don't know how it works. Who knows? A lot of people on TikTok say something's going to happen the 28th of September, do you think? So I don't tune into anything that I can't stop or change. If it's not going to be helpful and it's going to stress me out, I don't want to know. And I know a lot of people disagree with that, but I am human and I get anxious just like everybody else and so I choose not to know future events that would make me panic. What type of puppy do you have? I have a boxer puppy. Can somebody on um, on what is this YouTube comment because I don't know. It looks weird today, and I can't see any comments, and I don't know. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Now I see a comment. Thank you. Oh, it's 11 at night. Yeah, no, it's 2 in the afternoon here. Yeah. 
Yes, it's the twenty. Yeah, I've heard about the twenty third. The twenty third is my stroke anniversary. Each month, the stroke happens on the twenty third of December. Oh, you have a box of the boxer doodle. Aww. How can aliens get here when it takes thirty billion light years to get here from the closest possible place? Uh, because other dimensions don't rely on time. We like to put time in everything, uh, but other dimensions. Time it does not exist. Hello from Holland. Cool. Hi Amber. Why are people judgmental but our creator is not? Uh, because we're human and we come here to learn human things and that includes all human feelings. Any judgment is one of them. And because we had that book, Bible, that told us there is like continuous judgment from the other side. So genera generationally, we have been told to fear judgment. Um, who created the creator? I do not know. I don't think anyone knows. It's not for us to know. What does the other side look like? Well, well where I was, um, was a garden, but I don't think I was fully on the other side. I think um, it, the garden is like a waiting space for people whose human bodies are may or may not die. But it looks like love. What is the purpose? Who made all of this? The purpose of being human, you mean? Hello from Canada. I'm in Canada too. YouTube is quiet. YouTube should like too. There's like a little thing that says like. So I don't know if that's a like or a subscribe, but you should do a little one of those. Um, I probably should have done YouTube on my phone and had TikTok here because I'm old and blind. <laughs> um, when were souls created and how did he grow before? the existence of humanity. I don't ask those questions, nor would anyone, I think, be able to get those answers. Um, I'm just human. I don't necessarily want to know what created the beginning. Do you believe we are in a simulation? I guess you could use that word. So kind of, I just don't refer it to it as that. I'm from Chilliwack. Yeah, I'm on the island. Yeah, a purpose of us learning. What does it do for anything? We like to raise our vib vibration um, and in, become more and more enlightened to contribute to the collective enlightenment. And we love being human. We love coming here. Oh, from Cro Croatia. So cool. Hey, thanks to whoever shared. You guys are sweet. Is it weird that I'm like not looking <laughs> everywhere? Do you think any religion is true or it doesn't matter? All religions are true to the people who have faith in them. And that is what makes it true because you create your reality. But religion doesn't necessarily translate to the other side. Is this being recorded on YouTube so we can watch it later? Yes, and that's why I'm doing this because I was going live on TikTok all the time and it deletes. So now you can go to YouTube when it's done. We love coming here. Does that include those that experience the Holocaust? Yes, their souls planned that life. Has your book been released for publication. Not yet. Um, my cousin is actually reading through it and should be done this weekend. She's also an author and I just wanted her opinion before it goes to formatting and then it goes to formatting and then hopefully it will quickly after that be released on Amazon. Because I'm self-publishing, um, I have no idea how to like get it in bookstores and stuff yet. So I'm starting with Amazon. Um, 
what does unconditional love mean and feel like? The only place I have experienced it was on the other side. And you can't explain it. Everything, like even each blade of grass, every person, every item, even the air, but like emanated love. And you can't, you can't put human words to it. Like it just feels like home, but a home without judgment, without expectation, um, without resentment or guilt or shame, just love. Did your guides encourage you to write a book? Yes, they told me on the other side that I would write books. I saw 90 Minutes in Heaven on Netflix today. Have you seen it? I don't know. Is it like about an NDE? Again, I really uh, have a bad memory now. So <laughs> I would need like a synopsis or whatever it's called. What are spirit guides? They are kind of like teachers for us. So they help us plan our life, they help us live it, and they help us debrief when we go back to the other side. That's encouraging. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Do you think you can be on the other side in dreams? Because I think I've been there in a dream. Uh, yes, it is possible. Do you think part of why we plan hard lives is to experience contrast, to be, to appreciate how perfect reality is on the other side? We don't need to appreciate it. We don't have, yeah, appreciation, that feeling exists here. How does it feel the moment of dying? Is it scary? Does it hurt? So for me, my physical body didn't actually fully die. Um, I just left it, like my soul left my body. And the process leading up to that moment was very scary for me, just because I couldn't talk. You know, I had two massive strokes, so I was paralyzed completely without a shadow of movement on my right side. Um, I could say two words, my sister's name, Michelle, and the F word, and, and some weird grunty noises. And I knew I was dying. And just the whole experience of not knowing what was going on, like the whole morning effing sucked. Uh, and I was extremely afraid and had, had no clue um, how to process what was going on in my body. It was scary, it was confusing and a little bit painful. Um, but the actual moment of leaving my body like my body was scared i was in fight or flight and it was awful the moment i left and went to the other side not scary at all it was so amazing i just felt like i was home and all of the questions of like why is this happening what did i do to deserve this all of that was gone in that moment and so it was not scary at all hey thanks for all the likes on um, it's so funny that I noticed it right now because it's 222, but on TikTok, thank you for the likes. Uh, what are you called? YouTube. You have not, nobody has liked it. <laughs> it's about an, is it the one that's about like a little boy? I seem to recall. When did you realize that you had planned your strokes? As soon as I got to the other side. And I also... Like I was making freezer meals and stuff. So my brain, hey there, somebody liked it. Um, my brain, my soul knew, even though my human self didn't. Hey, me and my friend are having an argument. Can you say I support genocide? Uh, no, I cannot. Because I think your friend might be right. <laughs> okay, how do you talk about things nobody knows anything about? That's why people make up things. What do you mean? 
How do you talk about things nobody knows anything about? I don't get what you're asking. How do we connect with our spirit guides? Honestly, you just talk to them because they're always there. This is a bad shirt choice because I can't see the... Oh, there we go. If I put my arm there, it's better. I was in space in a dream and there was music sounds that are not a possible on earth. Yes, that can happen. Hello. Did you recognize the other side? Yes, I did. I was thinking of ending life and I had a dream. I met my two guides and that they allowed me or showed me a map of my life. Did you see that too? Well, I'm glad you stayed. Um, it's not that I saw a map, but my guides showed me my, my life. Whether like the life I would have if I stayed there, like my kids and family would have if I stayed there and the life if I came back. So yes, they did. If no judgment on the other side and all love, then how will bad deeds be punished? They're punished here on earth. No, the film is about a man, 38, who dies in a car crash that he is sent back. Oh, I have not seen it, I don't think. Uh, what do you think of the concept of twin flames? I don't know. I don't like the way you, humans use that. I know that I am living multiple lives on this earth in this moment. But I wouldn't say like I'm connected to them or our twin flames. Normally we don't meet our other selves. Drops of rain incarnations and going on at once. How do spirits communicate with us if we are indeed drops? Uh, because of what? I don't understand. Sorry. I don't get the question. What is the purpose of being human? To experience what it, be, it feels like to be human and to raise our vibration or our energy in order to contribute to the collective enlightenment. What do you mean about living multiple lives on earth each moment? I mean that our souls are always on the other side, but we are living many, many lives in all different time dimensions. How do you know you have other lives at the same time? Well, number one, because I saw them on the other side, <laughs> a whole bunch of them. Um, but even before the NTE, I knew that because I can see them while I'm alive, like right now, only some of them. There's a couple of them, like three of them that I am kind of feel connected to, even though I know there's more. Um, but I, I can see the dead people. I can see all the people. I can see souls. <laughs> How do you ask your guides to help you heal chronic pain? Usually chronic pain has more to do with you than the other side. So you have to work on healing yourself. A lot of unexplained chronic pain is due to unresolved trauma. So deep, deep. With all your experience, what would you say is the most important thing in life for everyone? I think gratitude for the strength we all have to live these lives and to accept the fact that we plan them with love and it's not a punishment. Suggestions to feel God. I'm just beginning my spiritual journey, but don't really know how to do anything. Pray, feel God. So I don't ask to feel God often. Uh, that energy has a lot to do. <laughs> so I ask for my guides to walk with me and help me. And when I'm having a very difficult time or feeling like uh, I wish I would have a stroke tonight and peace out, um, that's when I ask God to give, it, give me strength.
what do souls look like? To me, they look like humans because that's what my mind can comprehend. Do you ever regret when you, that you came back? So in the first week, no. The following seven months, yes, I regretted it often. I felt like a burden. I felt like my life was never going to be the same. I felt like I for sure made up all of the NDE um, and that I was like completely insane and why would I ever come back and I wish I had died. Um, it didn't help that I was on a medication that caused me to want to unalive myself. Um, and so I was on that for six months because I had a grand mal seizure due to my brain swelling and then continued to have seizures after that for an hour or so. Um, but yeah, so yes, I did regret. I wanted to go back. I, I thought I was like being punked and I was not a fan, but now, no, I don't regret it. I'm in this, like this week, I'm having quite a bit of like overwhelm feelings of my purpose feels so big, if that makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I feel like how do I do all the things they said I would do when I'm kind of scared um, and people can be mean and I know that I'm going to help like change the world, but it's very, it's very overwhelming for one person, especially a very brain injured person. Um, yeah, so I don't regret it. Um, like I can, if I close my eyes, I can see the other side, I can feel it and I get that for the rest of my life. But yeah, there were times when I regretted it. How do we find a mentor or a teacher to work with our awakening? Um, it's up to each person. So you have to find an energy that feels right for you. I don't think that's something I could like answer in a big way. What are your guides? Could it be visualized as animals that are with you? Um, guides for me is they look like humans, not animals, although we can connect with certain animals. You're so strong. Hey, thanks. I'm not going to read that out because TikTok will shut the video down, but why did I choose? Why did he choose to come to earth by choice of doing that? Curious. Um, because even though to us it's horrific, like why would anyone do any of those things, especially to a child. Um, and I fully believe that as a human, as a soul, we have to learn every lesson. So that's just one of them. We all will live a life where we experience that. Um, I kind of wish people like that would just, I don't know, go somewhere else or <laughs> if there was a hell, go there, even though there's not. Um, but that type of life, is a teaching life rather than a learning life because clearly he didn't learn anything um, but you are still learning from that experience although you would prefer to not have had it obviously you mean so what much for me just by existing i tell people everything you teach me all things My stepdad came to me after he passed and said it was a lesson he had to learn here. Yeah, it's so stupid, right? Were you happy there? We're happy. We're happy you're here. Ah, there we go. That's better. Did they show you what would happen to you if you made the decision to stay? Yes. And they, sh so, like me personally, my body would continue having seizures as my brain kept swelling um, and eventually it would start bleeding more 
and I would end up brain dead and my husband would have to make the decision to end my life. So that was going to be what was going to happen. I was going to die, I think at 1222 that day. Um, and sorry. Um, it could have been 222, they're saying. Whatever. So again, my memory is so bad. Um, and so that would, was what was going to happen to my physical body. And then they showed me what my kids and my husband's life would look like. Um, and they're strong, strong people because, man, they, would, they were going to rise to the occasion. Um, so, yeah, they did show me that. How is your spirit guides connect? How do your spirit guides connect to you? Do they communicate with you through your thoughts? Um, now it's a lot easier with thoughts. Like they think it, I say it or know it. Um, before, I used to have to like listen to them and then repeat. Do you believe we are all one? Kind of. We all come from the same place. Um, <laughs> if we all live the possible, all, if we all live all the possible experiences, that means we have all been Trump-like at some point. Yep. CB, there's something saying your message is retracted. Hello, Peter. I'm good. Um, and did they show you what would happen to your soul, maybe a next life? Um, they don't have to show you because you understand everything on the other side. So they don't have to show you. I just knew. I knew everything was, was going to be fine if I stayed. All of my other lives were there um, so I could see them. So I would just go back and join up with my higher self. Any advice for going through a really tough time? Yes. Know that you're not alone. Your guides are with you. You have a whole cheering squad on the other side. And if you are going through a really rough time, it means there are lessons to be learned. So start concentrating on what those lessons might be in order to help them to slow down. I mean, are we all unitary consciousness? No, like all of you are not just me. Do we live many lives at the same time? Yes, infinite. Why do kids get night terrors? Because their brains are developing so fast. Um, and sometimes it has to do with the other side, but most of the time it's just their subconscious working through things. Thank you. I miss when my son was little. So much like a part of me is gone. Will I be able to hug that again? Yes. Do we live all our other lives on Earth? Um, I only tune in to the ones here, but I know there's other dimensions. What do you mean about slowing down lessons when it's hard? So when we are on the verge of learning something and we're really struggling with it, our guides will be like, oh, she's almost there. And so they'll keep hacking that thing at you. Like, okay, if we just do a little bit more or give her a little bit more, maybe she's going to understand what the point of this was. As soon as you start to understand the point, they stop hacking those things at you as fast. It doesn't mean it's going to go away, but it's not as overwhelming. Can we switch to different versions of our lives? And if how, 
If yes, how do you do it? Uh, that we wouldn't want to. That's a no-go. Not supposed to. <laughs> but once you're on the other side, you probably can. Natalie Sinderman had an NDE, wrote a book on her experience. She reminds me of her in many ways. She has also done many interviews and has a webcam. Oh, that's cool. Can you explain, whoops. Can you explain that part? It's hard to understand our other lives. What do you mean? Which, which part? So I picture it as, um, I've never heard of M Michael Newton books. Um, so picture God. He's a rain cloud, right? Here's God, highest energy. All of our souls are his little raindrops. He's created them. We come down from him, eventually get back to him. Um, and so he's all his raindrops become their own rain clouds. And so your higher self is on the other side. It's a rain cloud. All the lives you are living are little raindrops you've created. And they will come down to earth, live their lives, and go back up to your higher self, your rain cloud. So all of those little raindrops are a whole in and of itself. But then they can go back and be a part of a bigger whole. And that is why there's no, no need for hell. Because... Your higher self is innately good and it's always on the other side. Each of those little raindrops are only a tiny, tiny, tiny piece of your higher self. So you can't punish one raindrop when there's so much more to that soul than that one rain, raindrop. Life is sometimes so tough. Is there an end to the cycle of reincarnation? You get to do whatever you want. The term, we live all their lives at the same time, is hard to understand. Yes, I know. Can you tell anything about your past and present lives? Do you know anything about the future? Yes, yes, and yes. Did you come across any atheists on the other side? Uh, <laughs> everyone goes to the other side. Whether or not you have any type of faith on, on the pl this planet, you still go to the other side. Hello, I read about people that had near-death experiences, hearing terrible screams and horror possible too. Um, yes, if they're a younger soul and need to stay here, they will create or manifest something horrific so that they don't die in that moment um, because the things they will do in, with their human life is are needed. They have to stay here. Whereas me... I had the option of either or, and so I got to see the reality of the other side. Um, sometimes you can't because you need to stay here. Um, only part of our soul is here with us, over soul with many, many lives. Our whole soul is always with us. What's your oldest past life you saw? Um, like old, like making, what are those? Oh, spears stuck on sticks. <laughs> Tell me about your other lives. Um, I, I'm not a huge other life person. I want to focus on this life and this life is a lot of work for me. Um, so yeah, but I, the ones I am closest to, because they're existing right now, is um, I'm living in PEI, which is a part of Canada, um, and also in the southern states, and I have really big hair. <laughs> There's another one from the like mid-1800s, um, where I live, like, I think in Montana. Does Montana have plains, like, flat? Somewhere in that area. Um, and I'm like a homesteader and have a lot of kids. A lot of them die. Um, and that one, I, when I was born, I felt the closest to because it was my most recent, if you will. And so when I was young, I wanted 11 kids. 
And then I grew up and I'm like, frickin' heck, who could ever afford that? There are people that have easy lives. Is that a present for the soul? Uh, it's a, a young soul. I was worried about cremation versus burial. 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 How do you feel about this? We don't care what happens to our bodies after we die. At all. Not even not even a little bit. Uh, I definitely want to be cremated. I don't want to be embalmed and stuck in a box. So, no, our bodies don't care. Our, our souls don't care. Do you believe stars are angels? Because there are videos showing stars on microscope moving weirdly. Um, I, no, I don't, actually. But it could be something I don't know yet. That's a relief that we can choose whatever we want. Yeah. What does the other side look like from your experience? Well, for me, it was a beautiful, beautiful garden. The other side looks like everything when you actually go there. The garden, I think a lot of people see when they have NDEs. And I think it's like a stepping stone. It's not the full other side because once you're there, you don't come back. Sorry for my mistakes. I'm limited in words here. No worries. Does Do the other lives look the same like a doppel doppelganger? No, not at all. Uh, the ones I saw, there were men, women, children, every race, every everything. I mean this in the most respectful way. How do you know your experiences are real? I don't. We, none of us do, right? We create our reality. So I 100%, you know, there's probably like a 50-50 chance when you talk to anyone that everything I went through was just my brain. It could have been. Um, but certain things, it's like, that couldn't have just been my brain. I, when I was in the helicopter, there was no way for me to see what my family was doing. I could see my husband, but like, how did I know what my family was doing? They were all going home and packing they had to drive to the next hospital which was two hours away i could hear them bargaining with god to help me to survive um how would i know that how could i see that and for me being on the other side was more real than this life and the knowledge i have now you know i was already a very enlightened person i was already a psychic medium i could already talk to dead people and you know read souls but now I know so much more and it's so much easier. How? Is there a part of us that, whoops, I lost my spot. Is there a part of us that continues in the next life? Do we bring any knowledge with us? Yes and no, because there's no next life. Everything is happening simultaneously. Could you meet your own soul? You are your soul. How could you meet it? I'm curious about what you think. You should watch the videos on YouTube of, about stars and angels. Maybe, yeah. Do you see spirits now in front of you? I don't have to see them in front of me. I like my personal space to be my space. <laughs> I don't like to have dead people all around. Uh-oh, I have to go. i got to go pick up my kids. That went really fast. Sorry, guys. I was going to donate my body to science. That's a good idea. I should do that. Although they probably don't want it. It's not very healthy. My brain sucks. <laughs> okay, I have to go. I have to go get my kids. They get out in 10 minutes. They won't like if they are just standing there waiting. So thank you um, for watching. This will be available on YouTube because it saves there. So if you missed it, or part of it, head to YouTube and subscribe. And please subscribe to all of these things, like everything so that more people can get messages from the other side. Yeah. Have a good day. Bye.